Rise like the dead and shine, everyone, and welcome to Morning Miscellany, the post-apocalyptic show that puts the you in mourning and the hell in miscellany. <laughs> so wherever you are this morning, whether it's come to a dead stop in traffic due to the murderous rampaging hordes, or maybe you're just curled up somewhere with a good book. Or maybe you're playing catch with that childhood pet you had <laughs> that died so many years ago. Or maybe you're tucking into breakfast a la your late husband. Maybe you're... You're mowing the lawn of the dead. I'll give you tips on how to climb the social ladder of this brave new world. Wherever you are this morning, spend your time with me, the last broadcasting man on earth, as he extols in the virtues as well as the vicissitudes of a world gone to hell. This is a Rob Human! <laughs> if we have any regular listeners, or any listeners at all, you might recognize the commanding growls of my <gasps> producer and sometimes co-host, Georgie! <laughs> Anything you want to say for the listeners, Georgie? Come on, buddy, you can do it. <laughs> your wife's name, your kids' names, the names of your bloody goldfish. Well, that's about as much as we've gotten out of him since Survivor Games. <laughs> that time when he growled some questionable sentiments about the possibility of me not being the last man alive in this nightmare of a world. <laughs> Come on, Georgie, there could be some zombie kids listening. Use your brains. <laughs> and yes, I do mean the ones inside your intestines. <laughs> right, Georgie, I'll put on some music. No one likes a backseat producer. Nobody likes an unkillable killjoy. Beats you every night. Cindy, you're not me. I suppose you always were a bit lost for words. Love. Oh, Georgie, it's that time! Cry calls! Up until recently, the most depressing book I had read was Jude the Obscure. And these days, well, it's just a plain old phone book. <laughs> All those names. Kirkman, ah, oh, doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> I'm never going to walk past a pretty girl again on the street. <laughs> I'm 
I'm never gonna watch the movies. I'm never going to leave. No one on the fridge again. <laughs> it's all fucking gone. <laughs> and nothing we did. Nothing could save us from this piece of shit world. It appears we have a caller. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you're on. <laughs> the air, that is. Uh, yeah, who's going? Um, yeah, Mick here. And uh, look, I don't want to be that guy, but I think you, you've kind of completely lost it. Sorry, what? Let me just tell you, the show, it's, it's, gone, it's gone downhill, man. We're talking whoosh, nosedive. You've gotten complacent, Rob. You know, you've, you've gotten comfortable. This show used to get me through the day, but lately, it's become the most depressing part of my day. And if you consider the situation outside, that's an achievement, Rob. And I get it. You know, I having to talk every day, keeping the content fresh. <laughs> it's tough being on the radio, man. I mean, you don't have to tell me. But seriously, can we just tone down the existential dread just a little bit? Seriously, take it down a notch. Dude, are you serious? We're in the middle of a global meltdown. And you're seriously complaining about my presenting style? Well, yeah. I mean, it's not exactly a zombie complaint line I can go to now, is there? Look, regardless of the situation outside, quality broadcasting should still be maintained. Not now, Georgie! This self-pitying filler you've got going on, it's just it's bringing the entire audience down, to be quite frank. As far as I'm aware, we are the audience. Nobody's listening. Uh, I'm listening, Rob? Actually, you know what? Now that I think of it, you have the monopoly on the market. This could actually be your chance to just make a dent in the industry. Get your foot in the door, you know what I mean? <laughs> the industry? You're a looper, you know that. The last of the fruit loopers. Forget the zombies. Your brain is the thing that's dead out there. I don't blame you, Rob, okay? I mean, it's obvious you, you picked up a few bad habits on pirate radio. And you know what? You gotta start somewhere. No money, love of the art. It's... Uh... It's adorable. But having said that, this show is seriously lacking in any sort of ambition to grow or change. And just, there's no excuse for that, Rob. Ambition. I'll tell you about ambition. I will aspire to find out where you're calling from, and I will take my axe to the fucking side of your skull. And I will not... Oh, Rob. Seriously? Swearing on the radio? <laughs> no. And you know what? Maybe that's not the hippest or the trendiest opinion. But that's what my ten years of college radio taught me. And that's back when standards still meant something wrong. All right, all right, I'll do it. Do what? I'll be your co-host. My co-host? Oh, fine. Yeah. Let's have a vote. Hmm? Valued legions of listeners, lend us your voices. Should we allow Mick here to come on as my co-host? <laughs> it's not like I can get any worse. Just say hello to all the dearly departed still working in St. Michael's Credit Union. I told them that all rot their fraternity. And what's more, these zombies are coming here, eating our women and taking our jobs. I think Georgie sounds kind of hot. <laughs> Well, Mick, seems the people have spoken, so I'll get the emergency rations and the tea ready. I'm down by, um... Yeah, you're the, the house with the big vulgar transmit on the roof. The state of it. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Prick. Oh, uh, don't worry, Georgie. You're always going to be my producer. 
years. Mick won't change that. Such an undead diva. Tension is the It's an energy to 